Hey guys, welcome to the third part of the chapter. So here we uh, now in the third part we're going to learn about administration producers records. So here we get to know like how historians you what did they what sources did historians use to write the Indian history which took and which took place in the last two fifty years. So you get an answer to this. You know this part of the lesson. So administration provides records. Like one important source is the official records of the, you know, the British administration. So this is very important because, you know, like we get in the, uh, through a few sources, and the important source well, is the official records of the British administration. They may give you a question: official records of French administration, official records of Dutch administration, official records of. British administration. Remember, British administration. This chapter, this whole history is mainly associated with British, but don't think like that. Also, Dutch and French, Portuguese. You learn about them in future chapters. But I want to force you guys to, you know, I want you guys to, you know, be thorough with this line because this is a very important. And next, the British believe that the act of writing was important. Yeah. So every instruction, plan, policy, decision, agreement, investigation had to be clearly written up. Once this was done, things could be properly studied and debated. This conviction produced an administra administrative culture of memos, notings, and reports. So, yeah. And so in this para, I, what I feel is, you know, it's simple. The, uh, there is a one important source. It is official records of British administration it was a reference to learn for the historians and the British believe that the act of writing was important so that they preserve it the yeah, act of preserve or learn, it, learn that in this paragraph so they also felt all the important documents and letters needed to be carefully preserved so they set up you know record rooms which were attached to the administrative institutions and yeah the village their office the collectorate, the commissioner office, the provincial secretaries, the law courts, all had their record rooms. Okay, so these are a few administrative institutions which have record rooms and specialized institutions like archives, museums were also established to preserve important records. Now, letters and memos and e notes and also reports that were moved from one branch to uh, of administration to another branch of administration is you know can be still read in the archives so learn this is a very important term like archives museums you know these have all the preserved important documents or preserved important records it's over here this is very important and next in the early years of 19th century you know these documents were beautifully written by the you know, people called calligraphists so they were specialized in our beautiful writing like you know i hope you guys do like this you write in a very good man or something or more more good than me and yeah like with the spread of printing again the many copies like by the middle of the 18th, 19th century they got printed uh, as the proceedings of each government department. Now here we have few sources here as like reports to oh, I mean, well, I just yeah. So reports to the home department. Like you know, our historians got to know through these sources. Like in 1946, the Royal Indian Navy, uh, you know, ships of Royal, Royal Indian Navy broke out, mutiny. Okay, so we have few references. Like we have few sources which states particular events, okay? And it also provides us with dates and events, sorry. So yeah, boom, we have few sources here. It might be helpful for you, not for now, but in you know upcoming lessons like this Bombay source, what happened actually in Bombay, what happened actually in Karachi or with Zakapatnam. Yeah, so this is something if you want to learn, you can learn. But I don't think questions may come from this. Only a uh, question means this uh, 1946, the colon colonial government and the India was trying to put down the mutiny that broke out the ships of Royal Indian Navy. I think this would be the important objective question for you because I, in my uh, exam tests, I only got this question and these might be for your subjective. Better you learn this. It's simple. It's just a resource like 
it's just a source like few agents of that particular area were informing british what exactly happened in that particular city okay 